Hello and welcome to the sixth piece in the FastScan Market Campaign and the second piece focused on new science through dynamic imaging. This is Johannes Kind and our topic today is capturing liquid crystal phase transitions induced by heating and cooling. With PDES polymer sample and scientific background from Natalia Arena and collaborators and FastScan data by Adam Mednick. Polysiloxanes are a hybrid species of both organic carbon-based and inorganic silicon-based compounds. In comparison to carbon-based polymers, they have a much higher working temperature range and have broad application as greases, lubricants, elastomers and resins. Polydiethylsiloxane PDES, is in a liquid crystal state at room temperature. When heated, PDES transitions into a fully liquid state at its isotropization temperature of about 60 degrees C. Cooling back down, PDES undergoes two mesomorphic transitions, liquid to liquid crystal and liquid crystal to solid crystal at about minus 2 degrees C. Controlling the nanostructure of thin polymer films is crucial for many advanced applications, ranging from sensors to photovoltaic cells. AFM imaging can be used to study the film nanomorphology and its changes at each phase transition. Let's watch this movie. Here is a film of PDES oriented in the direction that it was rubbed onto the sample being heated up to 70 degrees C and now being cooled down to about minus 2 degrees C. Some analysis. The backbone can be seen and there are cigar-like structures described in the literature which are perpendicular to the backbone. Now the heating starts and the cigar-like structures are starting to melt. At this point only a little bit of the backbone is left and the rest of the material is liquid as it is being cooled down. And the, many of the cigar-like structures are reforming in the same orientation while a lot of the material uh, is now non-oriented and uh, can be seen in the green marked area. Now we are cooling down and the cigar-like structures finally transition into a solid crystal. Let's watch the process again. Here we are heating, the cigar-like structures are melting. There must be some memory in there because the orientation of the cigar-like structures is the same afterwards and here's the solid crystal. This data was taken with the dimension fast scan using the dimension heater cooler, fast scan B probes and was recorded in peak force tapping mode at a line rate of 8.8 .8 lines per second and a tip velocity of 123 microns per second at a pixel resolution of 512 by 256 pixels. The whole movie consists of 60 frames recorded over 29 minutes at a frame rate of 29 seconds per frame. Using the dimension heater cooler together with the dimension fast scan system currently is an open configuration. So when cooling one needs to be concerned with air moisture condensing on the sample surface. You can see a picture of that in the bottom right corner. This was easily prevented by setting up a stream of dry gas uh, with a nozzle several centimeters away from the sample stage and just directing a gentle stream of dry gas at the sample. Conclusions The liquid mesomorphic and mesomorphic solid crystal transitions of PDES were observed by heating the sample above 60 degrees C and below minus 2 degrees C. Condensation at low temperature could be prevented by a gentle stream of dry nitrogen directed at the sample surface. After recrystallization, some of the material preserved the initial orientation, while most of it did not. This dynamics experiment was enabled by the unique combination of fast scanning, peak force tapping temperature stability and sample temperature control above and below ambient using the dimension heater cooler. Control of different sample environmental parameters is made easy to implement and in many cases enabled by the tip scanning open platform geometry of the dimension fast scan system. Dynamic studies generally require a physical, optical, electrical or chemical trigger to start the process while imaging. 
and to distinguish specific sample responses from non-specific sample evolution. Customer demos with the samples should be possible. Please contact Natalia for sample availability. In material science, heating and cooling while imaging enable the study of material property and morphology transitions. For chemical reactions, including all biological samples and processes, temperature control to below ambient allows controlling the reaction speed over several orders of magnitude. In biology, extreme temperatures, for example below freezing, can be unphysiological while modest temperature reduction can move the speed of a reaction into the range accessible by high-speed AFM. In material science, the response to temperature change by itself can be the process of interest. This is another example of an dynamics experiment enabled by the flexibility of the fast tip scanning for working with process control accessories and the thermal stability of peak force tapping. Stay tuned for the next piece and have a great day.